Now we will do another short little poem, The Weather. Then I will give you a few questions. We will learn to find answers in this short poem like we have done before. A small comprehension on the poem, The Weather. The Weather. When the weather is wet, we must not fret. When the weather is cold, we must not scold. When the weather is warm, we must not storm, but be thankful together, whatever the weather. It's a poem on the weather. The weather. When, when the weather when the weather is wet we must not we must not fret When the weather is cold, we must not scold, we must not scold. When the weather is warm, when the weather is warm, we must not storm, we must not storm. But be thankful, but be thankful together, whatever the weather, whatever the weather. A short poem on the weather. When the weather is wet, we must not fret. When the weather is cold, we must not scold. When the weather is warm, we must not storm. But be thankful together, whatever the weather. Now, what do we learn from here? There are a lot of rhyming words. When the weather is wet, we must not fret. Wet, fret. What is wet? When is the weather wet? When it is raining or when it is snowing, we say the weather is wet. Now, what is fret? We must not fret. Oh, we go on grumbling. We are feeling very sad. We cannot go out. When it is raining, you say you can't go out. When it's snowing, you say you cannot step out. So, when is the weather wet? Whether it's snowing or it is raining. And we must not fret. Why do we fret? Why do we feel sad? Because we are not able to move out. When the weather is cold, we must not scold. What is scolding? Cold, scold, both are rhyming words. We must not scold. It is cold when on a cold day, when it is icy cold, freezing day, when it is a rainy cold day, you are not happy. So you keep getting annoyed, that, so you keep scolding others. When the weather is warm, what is, when is the weather warm? On a sunny day when the sun shines. When the weather is warm, 
we must not storm or oh, getting angry. Why? What for? It is nice sunny day, but you say, oh, it is so hot, you cannot. But be thankful together, they say, whether it is a snowy day or wet day, rainy day or a cold day or a sunny day, whatever day. Stormy, when you say stormy, you can also say, when you have horrible wind that blow away trees and houses, when you have storm. Now, they say, be thankful together, whatever the weather, whether it is a sunny day, windy day, stormy day, rainy day, we are supposed to be thankful for. Now, some questions for you. Questions. Now, when should we not fret? They say, when the weather is wet, we must not fret. When, when should we not fret? When or when, first question is, when should we not fret. When should we not fret? We should not fret on a rainy day, on a snowy day, on a wet day. When should we not fret? We should not fret on a wet day or rainy day. Okay. Now, when should we not scold. Why do we scold others? You are feeling cold and frigid on a cold night. You are not going to be very happy. So, anybody ask you anything, you go, you scold. When should you not scold? You should not scold on a cold day. When should we not scold? We should not scold on a cold day. Next, when is the weather warm? What do we say when we say the weather is warm? What do we say? When is the weather? When is the weather? When is the weather warm? The weather is warm on a hot sunny day. When you say warm, we think about the sun. A hot sunny day. Now, storm. When do we get the storm? When there is a strong wind. When there is a strong wind, do we? When do we get the storm? The storm comes in when there is a very hard, strong wind. Now, next question, what should we be thankful for? What should, what should we, we be thankful for? Thankful for, we should be thankful for all weathers, whether it is sunny, whether it is rainy, whether it is cold or whether it is a stormy day, windy day, we should be thankful together, all of us together, we should be thankful for whatever the weather. So, let us look at it. When should we not fret? I mean, when should we feel, we should not feel sad, we should not feel sad on a rainy day or on a say icy day, okay. When should we not scold? Because it is cold, you scold others. So, on a cold day, we should not scold others. When is the weather warm? The weather is warm when it is sunny. On a sunny day, we say it is a warm day. When do we get the storm? When there is a strong wind, there is a storm. What should we be thankful for? We should be thankful for any weather, whether it is 
rainy, sunny, stormy, whatever the weather, we should be thankful for. So, when it is raining, you say, I wish the sun came up. When it is sunny, very hot, you say, I wish the rain came. We are always changing the weather, but we should be thankful for whatever the weather that exists. The thankfulness, whatever happens, whether it's sunny or rainy or windy or dusty, we must say, thank you God for the weather. Then we will have a pleasant mood. So now we learned from the poem to find answers in the poem. Doing a comprehension of poem is interesting, you saw for yourself. Now we will do another comprehension on a poem, the spring song. So I will put down the poem for you, we read together and we will learn to find answers in the poem. Okay? So a comprehension on the spring song poem. A spring song. Spring song. See the yellow. See the yellow catkins. See the yellow catkins cover. All the slender, all the slender, all the slender willows over, and on, and on mossy, And on mossy banks, so green, star-like, star-like primroses, star-like primroses are seen. Are seen and there and there clustering and the clustering leaves below. Leaves below, white and purple, white and purple, white and purple, violets, violets grow, white and purple, violets grow. Hark! Hark. The little lambs, the little hark, the little lambs bleat, lambs are bleating, bleating. And the coin rooks are the coin rooks are meeting in the elms. In the elm, a noisy crowd, a noisy crowd, a 
and all and all the birds are singing aloud are singing aloud there the first white butterfly the first butterfly in the sun in the sun goes flitting by flitting by okay now this is a little poem by mary howitt huh it's a little poem the spring song is by mary howitt how double t now she wrote this poem okay now let's look at the poem once again a spring song by mary howitt see the yellow catkins cover at the slender willows over and on mossy banks so green star like primroses are seen and the clustering leaves below white and purple violets grow hark the little lambs are bleating and the cawing rooks are meeting in the elms a noisy crowd and all the birds are singing aloud they the first little butterfly in the sun goes flitting by this a little poem spring song by mary howitt now what is the title of the poem a spring song now who wrote this poem the poem is written by mary howitt these are some of the small questions now my question is how does the willow look it says see the yellow cat king's cover all the slender willows over my question is how does the willows look the willows look slender slender means thin so the first question question is the first question is how does how does the willows how does the willows look the willows look slender all the willows look thin and tall slender slender means thin next how does the mossy banks look the mossy banks look green how does how does the mossy banks mossy banks look the mossy banks look green because of the moss that is formed the place looks green now see the yellow cat king's cover all slender willows over so the willows are slender and on mossy bank so green the bank because the moss it looks so green so how does the mossy bank look it looks green the next question is what is the shape of the primroses and on the mossy bank so green star like primroses are seen what is the shape of the primroses the primroses are star shaped star shaped so what is the shape what is the shape of the prim roses what is the shape 
what is the shape of the primroses? Prim. What is the shape of the primroses? The primroses are star shaped, star like. Now, what are what are the colors of the leaves? What are the color they say? Primrose are seen and they clustering leaves. Cluster mean they are all in groups. Seen below, they are white, purple and now my question is, what are the colors of the leaves? The leaves are white, purple and violet. What are the colors of the leaves? They are violet, purple and white. The next question is, what do the little lambs do? The little lambs are bleating. What do the little lambs do? The little lambs are bleating. Now, what are the birds doing? The birds are singing. How are the birds singing? The birds are singing aloud. Okay, now, next question. What are the butterflies doing? The butterflies are flitting by in the first sun. The butterflies are flitting by in the sun. So, we will go through it again. Now, what covers cat kings are covering? Now, what is the color of the cat kings? Cat kings are yellow. Now, this is a little poem, the spring song by Mary Howitt. What is the title of the poem? The Spring Song. Who wrote this tiny little poem? Tiny little poem was written by Mary Howitt. Now, the first question is, how did the willows look? The willows looked slender, thin. How does the mossy bank look? The mossy banks look green. What is the shape of the primroses? The primroses are star shaped. Now, what, what are the colors of the leaves, clustering leaves? What are the colors of the clustering leaves? The leaves, the clustering leaves are white, purple and violet. What are the lamps doing? The little lambs are bleating. Now, what are the, how are the birds singing? The birds are singing aloud. Now, what is the butterfly doing? The blood butterfly is splitting by. Now, what is the color of the butterfly? White. What is the white color butterfly doing? The white color butterfly is flitting by, just flying about. It is called flitting by. So, now we know how to read a poem and also to find questions and answer in that.